In this segment, I want to uh, take some of the feathers. I've ironed, got these ready for an extension. I'm gonna show you what I do to put the extension on here. Talk a little bit about this. This is one of the extra feathers um, that I was working on just to have a few extras later for examples, but you can see I have a few others here. They're already finished, ready to go into the next stage of the process. One of the things with uh, extending the feathers, there's a variety of things you can do. One of my rules of thumb, I prefer to make sure that the extension is no more than half the length of the feather. My personal preference. I want to see more feather on a bustle, less dowel rod feather extension. But at the same time, that's personal preference. When you're talking about the fancy dance bustles or sometimes uh, even traditional bustles that have a lot of thread work on that adds to the artistry of the overall bustle, you might want to go with a little bit more. But in any case, when you're choosing something, you want to find something that will fill the hollow of this calamus pretty well. So if we can zoom in there, you can see this fits in nicely. This is just a wooden dowel rod. You can buy this in a pack at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, Michaels, just about any craft store. You can just go buy packages of pre-cut wooden dowel rods, many different shapes and sizes, to find one that's gonna fit your feathers well. Um, what I was using for these is actually the bamboo skewer. These are a little thinner but I also like the bamboo. It's very strong, but also a little bit flexible. It'll flex more without breaking. And we we're talking about um, the fancy dance bustles. A lot of movement, a lot of action. What helps is sometimes having a little bit of give so that it will bend without breaking. Now you can see though, as I put the dowel rod in, there's a lot of wiggle room. There's a bit of play to that. One simple trick that I did was to simply add some tape. It doesn't have to be painter's tape, it can be some masking tape, but simply roll a little on here on the tip just to take up that slack, add a little bulk to it. And I'll guess that that is probably going to be enough. And I'm gonna do two widths here in order to make sure that the entire section of the dowel rod is that's inserted into the feather is out to that, that same thickness there. So let's check that and It's close. I'm gonna snip off, get a clean edge, and there we go. That goes in much better. Now that's in pretty sturdy and solid, which is nice. And again, no more wiggle from that dowel rod. And that'll make a nice transition going from the feather down to the shaft of that extension as well. Now, one of the things you can do, you can again epoxy that in there but um, I don't really like to use the epoxies and glues because um, if you're gonna redo your bustle work, you need to redo the feathers, you need to replace a shaft because one of the extensions did break. If that's epoxied in there, you're not gonna get it out. So instead, what I did was to get some heat shrink tubing. The heat shrink tubing you get the right size, this will slide right over the feather, the tape, the dowel rod itself, and voila, this will shrink to fit and make, again, a nice connection, help hold that in place and um, shrink down to make sure that this is gonna give a, a smooth transition from feather to shaft. So let's do that here real quickly.
and there you have it. That is a nice smooth transition going from feather to extension. This is a lot longer than what I'm going to need. I'll eventually cut this off as I get all of them to the right length for what I need and start doing the thread wrapping. So it's good to go ahead and get that long um, bamboo skewer. You can cut that off later. Okay. Now that I have the extension on and in place, I'm going to finish out this feather using one of my template feathers. I'll mark off the length, figure out how much I need for the tip. I'll mark off for the uh, trimming, the, the length of the feather itself. And then I'm going to wrap in place an extra little dowel rod, an extra little piece here one of my bamboo extensions, just to give that a little bit of extra support for wrapping on all of the hackles later. So again, you can use the same dowel rod, or again, if you used a thick dowel rod, a wooden piece for the extension, again, buy some extra bamboo skewers. Most grocery stores also, call, also carry a smaller diameter bamboo skewer for other things, look for the uh, Asian food section. You'll find little bamboo skewers that work really great here to add to that. Or again, you can also just buy uh, a much thin, thinner wooden dowel to trim off. But I've already taken my bamboo skewer, trimmed it the right length according to my template. Grab my pencil. I'm gonna lay down where the feather ends and notice too where the feather itself, the feather vein, is matched up. And this is where I'm going to mark here, where the dowel rod will begin. I'm going to mar mark here where the dowel rod ends. And now I know where to cut wrap and I already marked down here for the tip so I can cut this off as well. Get rid of that excess. So now I have that there. And Now, one of the things I often do, this section is what I need to wrap. I'll go ahead and cut some of this down to size. So I don't have too much bulk in with the wrapping, but a little bit there is fine. And I will simply grab my string and dowel rod and holding those in place. I just keep wrapping it until I have it completely covered, basically. Hold that in place really well. This will all be covered by the hackle eventually anyway, so doesn't matter if this looks really perfect. I just want to make sure I have that secure for when I am Adding the hackles, oops, a little bit of vein caught up in that, and looks like we've got enough. I'll just do a couple of loops, like little half hitches. 
to tie that off. And there, that's good. If you want to, you can add a little something to give it some stability. If you feel like the thread didn't tie down very well, put a little dab of glue on there or the hard as nail, top coat nail polish. I'll often, on some of my thread work, just kind of paint some of that on, helps hold it in place. I'm not worried about this really coming apart. This will be fine and I'll be able to wrap my hackle bundles onto this later. One last thing I'm gonna do here is trim this a little bit. You can see the template feathers had this rounded and curved. There we go. So I would trim that up. So now we're getting there to add that just like the other template feather. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you taking your time to see what we're doing with this project, the Fancy Dance Bustles. If you wanna see some more, we'll have videos coming up as I progress through these bustles and show you a little bit more about what we're doing, how I'm doing it. Hit the subscribe button, notifications button, so you can find out whenever we post some new ones. Thanks again.